Scooter B coming home till sentencing. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? All right, so, yeah. So, apparently, the judicial system has decided to let Kuda be out. Okay, so, real quick. Once again, could we get a shout out to Judge Ingelmeyer? I'm sorry I say this so much. But at the end of the day, um, let's give people their flowers when they're here for one. And when we get law enforcement or a person that's part of the judicial system and they're, you know, treating us like human beings, let's acknowledge them for that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, for everybody that know, Kudu B had been locked up. Before Kudu B pled guilty to the charges that he pled guilty for and then he's going to be sentenced. His sentencing has not happened yet, but he's going to be sentenced. Before he actually pled guilty, he was he was let out on bail. Judge Ingumaya has decided to release him on bail again due to COVID-19. Um, the paperwork starts off. This law, this order re resolves a motion by a defendant awaiting sentencing for temporary release from custody in light of this heightened vulnerability, pardon me, his heightened vulnerability to COVID-19. Defendant Kintaya McKenzie, that's cool to be, is currently incarcerated at the Metropolis Metropolitan Correctional Facility, pardon me, Metropolitan Correctional Center, MCC, where at least Four inmates have been infected with COVID-19. Mr. McKenzie suffers from asthma and the MCC has identified him as a high risk, meaning that he is more susceptible than others to getting very sick or dying from COVID-19. On June 3rd, 2019, Mr. McKenzie entered a guilty plea to one count of aiding and abetting an assault with a dangerous weapon. His sentencing is scheduled for June 24th, 2020. Before entering his plea, Mr. McKenzie has been released on $30,000 bond signed by eight financially responsible co-signers. The court found that this and other conditions would reasonably assure Mr. McKenzie's appearance and the safety of the community. Okay, so we're going to um, start reading here. First, one thing I want to say is 300... Remember how there was the rumor out there that... Um, Takashi 69 paid Kuda B's bond $300,000. Who still believes it? I'm going to be on the believing it side of the conversation. <laughs> I'm just going to say I I'm going to be on the believing it side of the conversation. With that being said, um wait, before we even go any further. Um Takashi 69 also was asking to be released. Um the same judge Judge Ingumaya said no. Once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying this. I believe the reason why Takashi Six Nine is being told is it was sentenced to the extra year, given 24 months rather than time served, had to do with the fact that that young lady came in and was shot in the foot. At the end of the day, without any for with no, at the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if Judge Ingelmeyer is looking at it as um, Takashi and his team should have had that wrapped up. He should have had that taken care of. This, you know, this is she showed up on the last day. Maybe it was already expected by the judge and by um everybody that was in court, as far as the government and as far as the defense attorneys. Maybe they all expected her to be there because they probably already reached out and she didn't want to talk to nobody about nothing. That's also a possibility. Let's not leave it as far as Takashi and his people didn't even attempt to reach out to her. They probably did, and they, you know, and I, we don't know what happened. That's all I'm saying. Um, with all that being said, uh, also, 
I'm sorry. Also, R. Kelly is asking <laughs> to be let out. Apparently, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. I really am. But apparently, R. Kelly is also asking to be uh, let out because of COVID-19. I'm. He's saying that he's susceptible to um get the uh, virus. I guess I have. I don't, I, I don't have the slightest idea what R. Kelly is saying. I mean, come on, R. Kelly. I mean, you serious? Anyway, so he wants to get out. We have no idea why we have we have a lot of ideas why R. Kelly wants to get out, and um he was also denied. So they're just not just letting you out because you have notoriety or fame. That's one. So cool to be has been let out. Um, one can y'all leave it down in the comment section. Who does believe that Takashi Six Nine put up the bond uh for cool to be previously? I want to know who believes that. I mean, this right here, three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, no knock on cool to be. I don't know his financial situation, but I'm letting you know right now. We, I needed to get up three. It ain't happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. If they like, yo, three hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna be like, well, you know, it was it was a good time out there in the free world. <laughs> the free world. I'm sure gonna miss it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so uh, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all think about this. Also, um, just, just for, just, I just want to know who thinks they should, um, let, let R. Kelly out. Who thinks that, you know, one of the judges or something should say, you know what, Mr. Kelly, we're going to give you another chance. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to laugh at this. He did some terrible things. I just think it's so funny that R. Kelly is over there sitting up thinking that this is going to be a situation that anybody is letting him free. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if people are like warning i don't want anybody to get this COVID 19 just just so we be clear i'm not wishing sickness on anybody but not everybody has that mindset i wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't people wishing sickness on him in hopes that if he gets sick in prison then there's a better chance of you know worse things happening because you know i'm just saying anyway um let me know what y'all guys think about that also let me know what y'all think about the judge denying takashi 69 do you think that the judge denied takashi 69 because the girl showed up in court I personally think it's because the girl showed up in court. And I'm just curious. Do you think Takashi and his people reached out to her? I personally think that there's a good chance that they did. I mean, at the end of the day, she didn't show up uh to she didn't show up to trial at all as far as to be a witness. Um she didn't take the stand. Maybe she's one hundred percent on that I ain't snitching type shit. Who knows? But I mean she did come back and say it was him. So I doubt if that's it. But anyway, so let's see what's going on. Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. Um, shout out to uh, Judge Ingemai letting Kuda B come home until his sentencing. Uh, he gets to see some of his folk and, you know, get to chop it up. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?